There is, of course, that famous saying that says never work with children or animals. But in this movie, you kind of do both. So what was it like working on set with 10 kids and two dogs? Mayhem, mayhem. <laughs> I mean, I said to the director, Gail, I'm a director myself, and I said to her, there's some scenes with 10 kids, two dogs, like four adults, all in like a, a kitchen. And I'm like, this is very, very <laughs> advanced directing right now. Um, so um, it, it was tricky, but the kids were great. They really, really were sweet. Some of them, you know, the younger ones are just kids. You know, sometimes they're off doing, you know, the boys are wrestling and fighting each other. And Gabby Union and I had to kind of take on real roles of parents and be like, hey, stop hitting each other. Get over here, okay? Come back, put that down, please. You know, we did a lot of that. Cheaper by the Dozen has been a film that's been reinvented numerous times since the 1950s. So did you go into this with a different mindset? Because it is so iconic. I think so. I mean, I think what Disney and Kenya Barris, the brilliant writer, were trying to do was say, hey, let's make a 2022 version that, <laughs> you know, has um, a, you know, a mixed race family. Uh, there's a, a disabled child. There's talk of my ex-wife having depression, um, things that wouldn't ever been covered in a Disney movie before. And uh, it takes a, a, a brilliant writer like Kenya to be able to put that into a family comedy. Um, so I just think it was really, really elegantly done by him. And, and, and I think people love the franchise so much that I, I, I think it was smart to do a, a, an updated version. There's a scene where you're showing off your dance moves in this as well. And I know you got some hip hop help. So were you confident going into this that you were ready to deliver on the moves? I was nervous because I had to do it in front of an audience, but I had practiced a lot. I had to, I had to have a hip hop coach come to my house and <laughs> teach me how to dance and moonwalk and do all that stuff. And then, and then with the dance crew, we rehearsed a whole bunch. But then you're still like, haven't done it in front of an audience. And all the background people that were there were like, I was, I was, and the crew, of course, I was nervous, but, um, but it came out great. And of course, editing helps uh, make me look a little bit better. But uh... at the beginning of this film, your character talks about the dreams of all the other characters in the movie. So was being an actor and director always your dream? Yeah, it really was. And, and funnily enough, I actually um, uh, thought I'd be, a, there was a time when I thought I'd be a paramedic because uh, I, I, I was fascinated by um, paramedics too. I thought like coming to the rescue was so cool. And then that combined with wanting to be an actor director, it's, it's funny that I ended up playing a doctor on TV. But no, I really knew from a young age I wanted to be an actor. My father used to do um, what I believe in Ireland you call amateur dramatics. Um, and, uh, and I used to go and watch him be in the plays. And I, I remember thinking like, wait, my dad's a lawyer and this is, he's doing this for fun, but this is a real job. Like I could do this. <laughs> I want to do that. 